today we are going to look at square and square root. Let's first look at square. What is the meaning of square? When a number is multiplied by itself, the product is a square. And what could that mean? If we have 2 times 2 is equals to 4, then 4 is the square of 2. And if we have 3 times 3 is 9, 9 is the square of 3. 4 times 4 is 16. Then 16 is the square of 4. 1 times 1 can be written as this. We write a little 2 on the top right hand corner. 2 times 2 can be written as this. We write a little 2 on the top right hand corner. 3 times 3 can be written as this. Again, a little 2 on the top right hand corner. 4 times 4 can be written as this. Again, a little 2 on the top right hand corner. The one on the left hand side is read as 4 square or 4 to the power of 2. The one on the right hand side is read as 16 is the square of 4. Next, we are going to look at the square of negative numbers. Let's look at this. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. A negative times a negative, we get a positive. Similarly, negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. A negative times a negative, we get a positive. We can also put it in this way. Negative 2 square is equal to 4. Negative 5 square is equal to 25. This is a very important thing that we should remember. When we square any negative number, we get a positive number. Next, we are going to look at the square of numbers smaller than 1. Let's look at the following example. 1 over 2 square is 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, which is equal to 1 over 4. Notice that 1 over 4 is smaller than 1 over 2. 0 0.3 square is 0 0.3 times 0 0.3, which is equal to 0 0.09. Again, notice that 0 0.09 is smaller than 0 0.3. So, when we square a number smaller than 1, the resulting number gets even smaller. Next, we come to perfect square. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, 169, 15 times 15 is 225. These numbers 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, 225, and so on are the square of whole numbers. These are called perfect square. It would be good that we know them by heart, as these numbers are used very often when we do maths questions. If we come across a very large number and we want to know whether it is a perfect square, we can use the prime factorization method to find out. Well, prime factorization method is the repeated division method to find prime factors that we had learned in our earlier lessons. For example, if we want to know whether 324 is a perfect square, what we do is to divide 322 with a prime number. Let's start with number 2. 324 divided by 2 is 162. 162 divided by 2 is 81. 81 divided by 9 is 9. So, 324 is equal to 2 times 2 times 9 times 9, which can be arranged to become 2 times 9 times 2 times 9, which is 18 times 18. So, 324 is the perfect square of 18. How about this number, 245? We want to know if 245 is a perfect square. Let's divide it with a prime number. 5 is a good number to start with. 235 divided by 5 is 49. 49 divided by 7 is 7. So, 245 is equal to 7 times 7 times 5. And we can see that 245 is not a perfect square. 
please do the quiz.